guys, it's Candy here. So I'm going to show you behind the scenes of a shoot that I did in my studio very recently. It's a portrait session. I'm using lenses 24 to 70 by Tamron. I'm also using the Lens Baby Velvet 56. I'll leave links to both of those in my comments. My comments in my description below. So this is a repeat client of mine called Joe. Uh, really favors the androgynous look, and so um, when we when we're photographing them, we we definitely enjoy playing on the androgyny look. Um, so when photographing, that's the look we've gone for. I've switched over to a classic sort of look as well and I want to show you that you can create something very cool and quick in the studio and this was just an hour shoot. Uh, I will say that the backdrop is hand painted by myself. I know a lot of people are asking me where I got it from. It is hand painted by myself. I can do a tutorial behind the scenes on that but I'm pretty sure there's loads of people already done it. Again I'll probably see if I can find some and put them in the description below for you. But yeah enjoy and I can't wait to share this with you. Just to go for my setup here, this is a hand painted backdrop with a light feather down with grid on it just for a cross show. That flooring is lino that I got cheap and these are my bodgy flats, so it's literally polystyrene painted and held up. What you can see here is me using live mode, there we go, uh, to focus the Velvet 56 zooming in because the Velvet 56 is manual focus so it does require me uh, to be a little bit more attentive to the focus on Obviously I can't rely on auto focus on my camera. Um, I am using a full frame camera here. Uh, it's got a great sort of soft texture, hence the name Velvet, uh, and it is available in 85 if I remember correctly. Also this is my Velvet 6. I love it for portrait from Joe just being effortless and hilarious at the same time. Just to go into a little bit of detail here, so that backdrop is actually decorated canvas or drop cloth painted by myself. Um, I have a whole tutorial somewhere back in the day, didn't it? But there are many online. And what it does, it allows some texture here, and I and <laughs> it's Joe being amazing, and it gives me this creative uh, look that is very bespoke to me. And I know hand painted backdrops are expensive, so I did go for the DIY option. Don't be afraid to have a go at yourself. It wasn't that expensive. I think I did the whole thing for less than thirty pounds, UK pounds. And there's my ugly head. <laughs> And this was the final part of our shoot on some paper backdrop, again with similar lighting and uh, the B flats that I bodged using polystyrene and painted them and held them up. So there you go. Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that bell button, and I'll see you all soon. Bye.